Ecology School, we're a residential environmental learning center, which means we're like a nature center, but people actually come and live and learn on our site. So I'm staying right in front of our new dining common. So part of our program is people not only go outside and explore nature and learn about sustainability, but they also take meals together and they spend time in the dorms that we have at our campus. It has taken the Ecology School six years and a whopping $14.1 million dollars to build its new facilities at River Bend Farm. We chose to do what's called the Living Building Challenge. It's the most rigorous green building certification in the world. We're modeling what a carbon neutral future looks like right now on our campus. The school is doing it by tapping into the power of the sun. Those 712 solar power panels will completely power up our campus. Uh, to power the dorm and our farmhouse and the dining commons and the commercial kitchen. So we'll be cooking all the food without any combustion. Nothing will go to waste. They even plan to use rainwater for their gardens. So our goal is that we'll have 100% of the produce we serve grown on site in the future. So that's our long-term goal. And we're even looking into things like livestock, growing grain, even having like a bunch of sunflowers and having our own uh, vegetable oil. Much of the lumber for the new dining commons and dorm houses is from Maine and trusses were built just up the road. There's a lot of cool green buildings out there, but I think what's significant about the ecology school at Riverbend Farm, we're doing cool green buildings and then we're inviting hundreds, even thousands of people to come and visit to live and learn in those buildings, to take meals in those buildings, and I think that's what's really significant. Learning programs are offered for kids, families, and professionals. Most of what we're going to offer at Riverbend Farm, we've done in really small doses, really small scale over the years. The campus is a marriage of modern green buildings and an old 105-acre farm. It's empty right now, but summer programs are filling up quickly. We really see the college school as part of the pandemic recovery helping people after a really rough year connect to nature, get healthy, rebuild community. How do they plan to get kids and adults excited about the environment? The same way they've been doing it for 18 years. The best way to get new people to think about ecology is to make it fun. Stewardship of the earth is just something that makes sense. We breathe air that came from plants. We eat food that came from the soil. So understanding how that happens is something everyone should understand. The Ecology School is expecting its first overnight visitors at the new campus next month. Although the pandemic canceled their programs last year, staff say their summer programs are filling up fast.